Hello everybody, it's me again. And today I thought I would show you how I knit a mitered square. Um, I've seen so many pictures on Facebook of everyone making their mitered square blankets and it inspired me to make my own. So I thought, why not show you how I knit a mitered square? Um, there are tons of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this. And I do it a little bit different. I haven't seen it done the way I do it. Not saying that it's not out there, so I don't want to say that I made this way up because, to be quite honest, I don't know. Um, I'm just saying this is how I do it. And I think it's super easy from other things that I've seen. And it's very beginner friendly. So I just thought I'd show you how to do it. Um, before we get into that, though, real quick, I do want to say thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. We are now over a thousand subscribers, which is a way big deal, um, especially for a new YouTuber. Um, that's a big milestone, so I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who has liked my videos, commented on my videos, shared my videos. It truly does mean everything to me. I am so grateful. And I will say that every video that I make, because I never want you guys to think that I take any of this or any of you for granted. So, with all that being said, oh, I want to add, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now, and I will also put a link to my Facebook page in the description below. You can follow me on there, and you can share all your pictures, or just stop by and say hello, and that would be cool too. So, with all that being said, now I will show you how I knit a mitered square. It's pretty easy, like I said. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the back, and I'm also going to show you how to change color, and all you're going to need to do this are two stitch markers. I use the solid stitch marker, like it doesn't have an opening, it's just a solid stitch marker. I use these stitch markers on my needles, and it's just a personal preference, but I noticed that when I use this type of stitch marker on my needle directly, that my yarn will get snagged, or I don't know, it just... I'm just not talented enough to use these kind on my needles. So I stick with the solid kind on my needles and I put these on stitches directly. I'll show you where these come into play in a little bit. And you're going to need your yarn. You can do one color, you can do a variegated yarn, you can do two colors, three colors, you can do as many colors as you want. You can make it as big as you want. And all you need to do to make one is I've already cast on 20 stitches. And all you have to do is cast on an even number of stitches. So you can do 50, 100, 30, 40, any number you want as long as it's an even number. And then you divide that number by 2. So here I've cast on 20. I'm dividing it by 2 to make it 10. And I'll show you how that number comes into play in just a minute. Okay, so you've cast it on, or you've cast on your stitches. You've divided it by two, you have your new number, and you're going to knit the first row. All odd numbered rows are the exact same. You're just going to knit straight across. So the first one, what you want to do though, you want to place a stitch marker. So like I said, I cast on 20 stitches, divided it by two, I have 10. I'm going to knit 10 stitches. This is for the first row. You knit 10 stitches or whatever your number is after you've divided it by two, you would knit that number. You just want to cut it in half. You just want to find the very center, basically, of the um, number of stitches you cast on. You just want to find the center of that. So I have two, four, six, eight, nine, one more, ten. Okay, I have ten stitches on my right, ten stitches on my left. I'm going to take my solid stitch marker, like I said, personal preference. I'm going to slip it on my needle, and I'm going to knit the remaining stitches. I know it's so much fun to watch me sit and knit, right? Not really. I'll try to get quicker. I just can't because, well, I don't have the ability to knit faster yet. And the cast on row is always a pain in the butt for me. Okay. There we go. We have 
10 stitches here, 10 stitches here, a stitch marker right in the middle. This was our first row. It's an odd numbered row and it's gonna be the exact same each time. You're just gonna knit all odd numbered rows. Now we have an even number row. This will be row two and this is where we do our decreases. Now, like I said earlier in the video, there are tons of videos on YouTube showing you how to make or knit a mitered square and they all decrease differently. This way is the easiest way that I've come up with or that I've, that I've used. So it's really simple. All you want to do, and again, all even numbered rows are going to be done the exact same way. You're always going to decrease on an even numbered row. All you want to do is you want to knit two up to the stitch marker. So here's my stitch marker. Here's two stitches. I'm going to knit these. So in this case, it'll be eight. I'm going to knit eight stitches, leaving two stitches remaining before my stitch marker. And that's where we're going to do our decrease. So much fun. I'm sorry, I go so slow. I just feel like I'm making such horrible, boring videos for you guys and I feel bad. Okay, I have two stitches left before my stitch marker and all I'm going to do are knit those two together. And if you've never knit two stitches together, it's super easy. Basically, all you want to do is treat these two stitches like one big stitch. So you come on to the left of it. Can you guys see my camera does not like me, so it doesn't focus well. I do apologize for that. Treat this like one big stitch, come to the left of it, and you just insert it like you would any other normal stitch, but you're just through two of them. You wrap your yarn, bring it through, and you've, based, and you've knitted those two stitches together. Now you're going to slip your marker, and all that means is take it from the left to the right, and now you're going to knit these two stitches together. Same thing, come to the left of it, treat it like one big stitch, come through, knit those two together. So every even numbered row, you're always going to knit the two stitches before the marker together and the two stitches after the marker together. And then you're just going to knit the remaining stitches. Okay. Again, so slow. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we've completed row two. We're going to turn our work. We're now on row three. It's an odd numbered row and all we have to do is knit all the stitches across. Nothing fancy, no decreasing, nothing, just knitting. All odd numbered rows are going to be done the same, just knitting. And you just slip your marker when it comes up. Just knit all these. <clears throat> I'll do one more row of decrease and then I'll show you how to change color. And changing color, if you've never done it before, it's not hard. It's pretty easy. And this is also a good way to use up all your scrap yarn to make a mitered square blanket. Okay. Completed my even numbered row, a row <clears throat> or my odd numbered row, I'm sorry, row three all knit across. We're going to turn. Now we're on row four. This is the row we decrease on. I'll show you decrease one more time and then I'll show you how to change color. So you just want to knit up to two before the marker okay we're at two before the marker. We're going to knit those two together We're going to slip our marker and we're going to knit these two together. Again, you just treat this as one big stitch, come in from onto the left of that second stitch and you just knit them together. Like so. And then you just knit the remaining. Like that. And that's all there is to it. It's all the way, that's how we're going to decrease throughout this whole thing. So. Not hard at all. It's just knit two stitches together before and after the marker. Okay, so now we're back onto our odd numbered row. Remember, this is just a knit side, and this is where you want to change color. So, oh, again, this marker comes in handy. You can mark your um, right side, and your right side will be just the knit side. The side that you just do knitting on or your odd numbered rows, that's going to be the right side of your work. 
So if you want, you can place a stitch marker anywhere in here. Just so, get in there. Just so you know, this is the row that you just do knitting. You just knit across. Um, but again, if you want to change color, this is the side you do it on, okay? Because if not, your pretty side, I think this is the prettier side because it's flat. This has a little bit of a bump, but it's personal preference. I mean, I prefer this side to be the front, though. So if I want this to be my front side, this is like the, the side we just knit on, um, we're going to change color so our seam doesn't show on the good side. Because we don't know how to get rid I don't know how to get rid of that. Does anyone know how to get rid of that? I cannot figure out a way to get rid of the color changing seam. Drives me crazy, but whatever. But yeah, so when you want to change color, you always change color on an odd numbered row. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Like I said, if you've never changed color before, super easy. All we have to do is grab our new color. We take our left needle insert it into that first stitch as if to knit it but we're gonna take our new color we're gonna leave probably like I don't know a six inch tail a tail long enough that you can weave in at the end we're gonna loop it around our finger like that and then we're just gonna place it on our needle like so and bring it through and knit with it and that's it you're gonna knit a couple stitches it's gonna be sloppy it's gonna be loose but we're gonna fix it it's just going to be sloppy and loose for a minute. Knit a few stitches with your new color. Okay. Now you want to set your, I usually set my work down to make it a little easier for me. And then you want to take your new tail, your new color tail and the yarn you've been working with, which is right here. You don't want to confuse it with your tail of when you cast it on. You want to use the color you were working with and your new color and you just tie a knot. Okay, and you can tie a pretty decently tight knot. You don't have to get too crazy tight with it, but it can be pretty tight. I usually do two. I usually tie two knots just to make sure it's pretty secure. And that's it. Then you're done. You can actually cut, you know, your old yarn off. There. And now you just continue knitting as normal. And this is an odd side row, an odd side number, or an odd numbered row. So we just knit across it completely. Slip our marker. Knit. Knit all the stitches. Get these scissors out of the way because they're driving me crazy. All right, so we've knit all the way across, we're done. And now we just turn our work and this will be our decreasing side. And then you decrease. And then you turn your work and you just knit across. That's how you're gonna do the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video. It's only gonna be like a second for you guys. It'll be a few minutes for me. I'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end and how to finish off the square. Just hold tight. I, again, it'll only be a couple seconds for you guys. A couple minutes for me. Hold on. All right, I've finished up just about. Um, I left three stitches on each side of the stitch marker. I am on a odd numbered row. So this is my just my um, knit side. Here's my little stitch marker telling me this is just the side I knit on. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to finish this up and then we'll be done. Like I said, this is my odd numbered row. So, I'm just going to knit across. And we are almost done. Okay, turn my work. We're on an even numbered row now. So this is where I'm gonna do my decreasing. All right, knit those two together before the marker. Slip the marker. Knit these two after the marker and knit the last one. All right, now we're down to just two on each side of the marker. Just gonna go ahead real quick, knit these across. Slip 
flip my marker. I'm so sorry if this is boring for you guys. I really am. Okay, final decrease. We have two stitches on each side of our marker. All we're going to do, I'm pretty sure you've probably guessed what to do, but all we're going to do is knit these two stitches together. Knit those two together. We can lose our stitch marker, and we're going to knit these two together. Okay. We're down to two stitches. This is our odd numbered row, the knit side, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to knit these two separate. So we're going to knit these two, and then we're going to turn, and we're going to knit these two together. I have a snag in my yarn. Can you see that? I hate when that happens. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, we're going to knit those last two stitches together, pull up our loop. We're going to cut our yarn. Cut the yarn. All right. So now we have this, and now we have two options. We can just pull this all the way through and weave in our end, or you can take this straggler, put it through, and then pull tight. On this one here, I actually pulled the tail through the loop and it made like, there's like this little knot, right? Can you see that? Probably not because my camera. Okay. There's a little knot there. But if you, I didn't even weave in these ends because this was just a sample example that I did for you guys. I just snipped it and didn't even weave it in. I know, horrible. But if you were to take that tail and actually weave it in, you could probably bend it, you know, weave it in good enough and it would still look rounded like the rest of the corners or we can try it like this we can just pull that loop all the way up give it a little tug we can lose this stitch marker and we can then weave in all our ends and that's how you do it guys that's how I do it anyway that's a mitered square pretty simple the decreasings just consist of knitting two stitches together before and after the stitch marker so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any um, suggestions on what my future videos should be about, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. It'll be fun, I promise. And until next time, guys, I hope you all have a fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye.